greetings to all figure skating fans. In the coming minutes on the main events of the day, the dance duo Ekaterina Mitrofanova and Vladislav Kosinski, who competed for Bosnia and Herzegovina, broke up. This was announced by Alvis Husijanovic, vice president of the Bosnia and Herzegovina Speed Skating Federation. Mitrofanova and Kosinski have competed together since 2021. They finished 27th at the 2022 World Championships. Previously, Mitrofanova had competed in singles skating, she trained in Russia under Iteri Tutberitz. The skater won silver at the Junior Grand Prix stage in the 2015-2016 season. These athletes continue to be representatives of the Skating Federation of Bosnia and Herzegovina, but are no longer a pair in ice dancing since last November. The exact reason for the breakup is not entirely clear to us, although they had many problems last season. First with their coach and lack of training opportunities, and then with an illness that prevented them from taking part in the European Championships, although they had already arrived there. I am in regular contact with Ekaterina, and she is very sad about the parting. She works as a coach in Moscow, and two days ago I received a photo from her first competition as a coach, Husejanovic said. According to Husejanovic, Kosinski intends to continue playing for Bosnia and Herzegovina with a new partner. Russian figure skater Stanislava Konstantinova has announced the end of her sports career. I've been putting it off as long as I can for the last year and a half. I left twice and came back again, all because I absolutely love figure skating. We'll definitely see each other again, I'm staying in figure skating. A career as an athlete is often not too compatible with participating in interesting projects and shows. I hope that now I will be able to realize my potential in this field. And also I am burning with all kinds of ideas for productions, I think that's really what my heart is for and what I am good at. I feel and know that I have something to pass on to the athletes, both as a coach and as a choreographer, wrote the athlete. Konstantinova is 22 years old, a Grand Prix silver medalist in Finland in the 2018-2019 season, and a bronze medalist at the 2019 Universiade. She finished fourth at the 2019 European Championships. Before I continue to update you, please take a few seconds of your time and subscribe to the channel and like this video, thank you very much. Anish Chobakova, Nathan Chen, Gabriela Papadakis Gilorm Sizerun have been shortlisted for the ISIS Skating Awards, the International Skating Union announced. The skaters are nominated in the Most Valuable Skater category, and the awards ceremony will take place on February 5 in Switzerland. Russian sports journalist Elena Vitsekovskaya commented on Anish Chobakova's inclusion in the ISIS Skating Awards shortlist. In the ISU Awards nomination for Most Valuable Player, it would not even be interesting to know which skater would get the top prize, but what the people on whom the outcome of the vote would depend on. If the prize was given to the best, it seems to me that Anja Shobakova would not have many chances. Both Nathan Chen, Gabriela Papadakis Gilorm Sizerun have been the best for many previous seasons, and consistently the best at all tournaments in a row, without giving anyone the slightest reason to question their own superiority. Against the big picture, the French's error at the European Championships in 2020 looks nothing more than ridiculous. Dash the Olympic season has only confirmed it. But the prize does not mean the best, but the most valuable, and that, it seems to me, is a slightly different story. The greatest value of an athlete at all times has been the ability to show an absolute maximum at the moment when it matters most. When you know it all, but you have to go out there and give the best performance of your life at any cost. In Beijing Nathan Chen, Gabriela Papadakis Gilorm Sizeron for all their greatness did not do it. They did exactly what was expected of them, i.e. they won in their own leagues, but Anna really pulled it off in Beijing. The same as in December 2020, when she arrived at the main Russian championship in a half-living state, without exaggeration, after suffering from severe pneumonia. The same as in 2021, when she won the world championships, we all wondered then how she did it, and we still haven't found the answer. So for me personally, it wouldn't be a problem at all who to vote for in the top three nominees. And the question of national predilection has nothing to do with it at all, wrote Vitsekovskaya. Alexander Julin, an honored coach of Russia in figure skating, spoke out about the doping case of Kamila Valieva. It often happens that I blurt and then regret, but, for example, the case of Kamila Valieva was just shaking, because I understood perfectly well that I could learn to do quadruple jumps the way she does. What doping can we talk about, this is nonsense. And I saw how the media mocked Terry and Camila when the girl could not go to the rink she was shaking, they arranged it before her personal competitions. I just lost my nerve and as I had already written a book, I wanted to speak out, to write something. It seemed like I was doing it right, I then wrote an open letter to Bach, because I was just shaking at that moment. It was very nice that so many people in our country supported my position, we need to talk about it. First of all I think Camila is a very smart girl. Secondly, I think she is a very good person. 
Thirdly, I think she has a good coaching staff, they will help her, they have been helping her and will continue to help her. I believe, people like Camila Valiva will not disappear, it would just be a tragedy if she loses her medal, and she is banned from training. It's bad for everyone, it's bad for America too, after all the competition is gone, the world star is gone. We cannot even speak about any kind of doping. If you make an American who went through puberty and got a bit tipsy, she will be unable to perform just three or three tricks, and Camila Valiva is doing clean quadruplets. When she performs an exit, her leg goes 180 degrees. They wanted her to go into ballet very strongly, but she chose figure skating on her own. I am sure if she had taken ballet she would have been an outstanding ballerina, there is no doping there. But, it seems to me, sport is more interesting, I will stick to my opinion, that the world hasn't seen figure skaters like Camila Valieva yet, said Julin. Russian figure skater Anastasia Zanina was unable to finish the short program at the Channel 1 Cup, due to a fall. The athlete fell from the triple lutz, she could not get up on her own, she left the ice with the help of doctors. Anastasia's coach Alexei Vasilevsky said that the skater was immediately taken to hospital. Nastya has now been taken by ambulance to the hospital, her mother and my spouse went with her, she hit her hip. They will make an x-ray, and after a thorough examination the situation will become clearer. It's true that she had problems with her hip before, but the injury was of a different nature. She had a torn ligament, Vasilevsky said after the incident. Later, Anastasia's coach Yulia Livrenchik reported that the skater had a contusion. Now coming from the hospital, Nastya has a bruise, thank God there is no fracture, the coach said in a statement. Anastasia Zanina will spend a week in hospital, the skater herself said. Hi guys, everyone, I want to say a huge thank you to all my figure skating friends who wrote me words of support, and to all my fans who are so worried about me. I have had all the necessary tests done, fortunately there are no fractures, there is a severe contusion, and due to this tissue swelling. Unfortunately, I need bed rest, so I have to stay in hospital for a week, said Zanina. Thank you for watching this video till the end. Subscribe to the channel, do not forget to like it and give your opinion in comments, see you soon.